Hey guys, Steven here, and today we are reviewing the Gator 150E3 lawnmower. I mean, scooter. So I've had this scooter for a few months, and I've put about 600 miles on it. So let's briefly talk about the specs of the scooter. It has a GY6 150cc engine. That's a single cylinder four stroke engine. It can be started a variety of ways. You can push a button that's an electric start. You have the kickstart option. And you even have a way to start it from the key fob, which is very interesting. The battery is a 12 volt battery and you can find it underneath the floor panel. The maximum speed on this scooter is 60 miles per hour, supposedly. I've gotten it to 55 and it's really hard to tell because the speedometer gauge is a little bit off. So you may have to use an app to figure out how fast it's actually going. You don't want to weigh it down with more than 330 pounds. So that is the maximum weight limit and the weight of the scooter itself. With gasoline in it, it's 273 pounds, and the dry weight is 223 pounds. So let's talk about the pros of this scooter. There's no clutch, and you don't have to worry about changing gears. So if you've never driven a manual transmission, you're in luck. This one's an automatic CVT transmission. It accelerates fairly quickly, and like I said, it can go up to 55 miles an hour. So you can drive at comfortable speeds on the main roads. It handles turns pretty well. The smaller wheel size allows you to get around comfortably. And it comes with a center stand and a kickstand, which is pretty awesome. And it has an alarm system, but it's really loud. So if someone was trying to take it, you would definitely be alerted and other people would definitely hear it. It's very, very loud and obnoxious. And then there's storage underneath the seat and on the back. So you have a good amount of storage in addition to a glove box on the front. I wouldn't put much in there. It looks like there's a little spider in there right now, which is kind of crazy. So now let's talk about some of the cons. Now this is from my personal experience. So I highly recommend checking all of the bolts every time that you ride, or at least every week that you ride, because things come loose on this pretty often. Um, I'm not sure if you can use Loctite on certain things because some of the screws, like the ones that hold on the exhaust pipe, go directly into the frame. So you just have to tighten them regularly, make sure they're not coming loose. Because one of the clamps holding the exhaust pipe has uh, come loose and the screw fell off on the road before. Another thing is they wrap the exhaust pipe in plastic. You definitely want to take that off before you ride or you'll be smelling burning plastic for a long time. There was a piece that broke off. I'm still not exactly sure what it was holding on, but it's part of the emission system and it's just a bracket. So that piece of the emission system still works, but I had to zip tie it to the frame because a piece of metal broke through just from writing. It didn't affect the writing at all. And I heard that some people even remove that piece. So unless you're in a state that really cares about the emissions like California, it's probably okay given that they're a low emissions vehicle you probably won't need that part, whatever it is. And then another con, I don't consider this too much of a con, but you need a motorcycle license to drive this in pretty much all the US states. I'm not sure globally because it's 150 CC. So you will need a motorcycle license or at least a permit to drive this. Like I mentioned before, the speedometer is not accurate. So I've gotten it to say I'm going 70 miles per hour, but judging by the cars around me, I would assume I was driving 55 miles an hour. And then of course, this is a carburetor engine, not a fuel injected. So you're going to have to clean that and keep that maintained as well. So overall, at least on the first 600 miles, this has been a pretty good scooter for me. It's been riding great as long as you remember to tighten any bolts that might come loose. The bolts that came loose for me, like I said, were ones holding the clamp that holds the exhaust pipe on. And then another one that came loose was the one that holds the back storage compartment on. So you have to check all of those. They do give you tools with the scooter, which is kind of nice. So you can tighten those things with those. However, the wrenches seem to be slightly the wrong size. I've really enjoyed riding this around. It's a great a to B vehicle as long as you're a little bit handy and you're willing to check everything before if not every ride at least every couple of rides and something I kind of like about it I found out that a lot of lawnmowers have 150 cc engines too it's fun it's my my little lawnmower that I travel around on 
All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more reviews, but also vlogs and footage, and I do short-form content as well on motorcycles, scooters, and bicycles. So I will see you later on.